What's up everybody, Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports here, and as you can tell from the inside of this truck, I'm in a Ford Ranger, but it's not our Ford Ranger. So, long story short, we do a lot of work with ARB, and they were kind enough to put the offer out there to fly me up to Colorado, specifically Grand Junction, to pick up their Ranger so I could take it all the way back to Phoenix, and we'd have a chance to do some reviews on it, kind of test it out go over some of the parts because this thing is, is pretty built. And of course, when they put that offer out there, I had to say yes. So I flew up here, it's just me. I'm gonna be recording it along the way and make this sort of a vlog just so you guys can follow along with this quick little journey as I get the truck all the way back home to Arizona. But I'm trying to work my way to Telluride so I can spend the night there. And then from Telluride, we'll work our way back down to Arizona. So the idea is we've got a friend up there who has a spot I can stay, which will be really handy and a little bit nicer than just staying at a hotel. And obviously Telluride's beautiful, so it seems like a pretty good deal to me, but I'll keep you guys updated right now for today. There's not gonna be a whole lot to say. You'll probably see some time-lapse footage. I'm gonna just work my way over there. And then tomorrow we'll focus on actually driving the truck, maybe talking about how it feels and giving some initial first impressions. So I will check back in with you guys in a little while. Good morning everybody it is the following day and unfortunately it's not looking too promising in terms of getting onto trails i already ran down grabbed breakfast made sure to grab some coffee as well and unfortunately everything's still closed because of snowfall there's just no trails or passes open even a lot of the forest roads around here are closed i might keep trying it a little bit just see if i can get anywhere where i might need to actually engage four-wheel drive but i don't know how that'll go so if that doesn't work out, then we're just going to hit the road and start pushing back on towards Phoenix, and I'll continue to check in with you guys along the way. So, see what happens. Well, it hasn't been super promising out here. I haven't managed to find any aggressive four-wheel drive, real off-roading, but there's been some good forest roads and a little bit of snowy and muddy stuff to kind of roll through. And I can say that the truck does ride really nice. It's got ARB's Old Man Emu suspension. It's the BP-51, so it's front coilovers, rear shocks, all that good stuff. And it's just sitting on some 285-70-17 KO2s, which are very similar to what we have on our Ranger. Exact, actually, exactly what we had on our Ranger before we switched to mud terrains. So it looks good. It rides really nice out here. It's a really easy, comfortable truck off-road. Okay, I figured now is probably a good time to check in. I booked it out of Colorado. I actually just passed through the corner of Utah and now I'm crossing into Arizona. So I'm real close to where Four Corners is at the moment, but I did want to touch real quick on some of the other mods that I told you that I would explain with this truck. So the way it's built out, ARB has their Summit bumpers on here. So that means they've got that big front bumper with the fender guards on it. They also have their intensity lights mounted to that and a worn winch inside it. Then they've got the rear bumper to match as well as some rock sliders, which are really cool. And they're true frame mounted rock sliders. 
Then up top, they have their base rack system with a couple different mounts on there and some tread boards. And of course, we've got the Safari snorkel over on the side of the passenger fender. So this thing really does look like it's ready for a trek across the Outback. I think it's a really neat looking truck, but I'm also happy that even with all these mods on here and the additional weight, it still drives pretty nicely. It doesn't feel too heavy or too out of control. It definitely rides like a stock truck on the street, and that's been really pleasant. So I have no complaints so far. I am looking forward to kind of doing a more in-depth walk around and talking about each of these parts once we have a chance to spend some more time with it. Like I said, this is really more just a vlog to show you the trip back, but we will have some additional content to cover the rest of that. So with that being said, I'm gonna hit the road again and just keep pushing back into AZ. It is getting darker by the minute, but I've probably got another hour and a half to go and we should be just about home. Well, I made it back safe and sound and we've got the Ranger parked here in the shop. So if you're wondering why I look a little different and why it looks like it's daylight out, it's because it is. I decided to wait till the following day. By the time I got in last night, I was just so wiped out. I wanted to go to bed and then clean up and just shoot the outro later. So that's why things look a little different, but had no issues getting here. Really happy with the Ranger overall. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you guys are wanting some more information on this truck and are curious if we're gonna do some reviews, we definitely will be. So you can stay tuned on our channel. Keep an eye out for those future ARB videos. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.